I was having this conversation earlier today, and this guy was like, with this guy, and he was basically saying how he was like, can you see how far you've come? You've came a long way from where you used to be. And I'm like, no, I really don't see it. But I guess the people on the outside looking in can always see it more than you. Um, he was like, look, like he was looking up at the sky. He was like, when you've been down, there's only one way you can go, and that's up. And I was just like, well, what happens if you're up there, you know, and no one else is with you? How do you know, you know, where do you, how do you keep going? Like, where do you go when you're, you're up there, you know? And then he was like, well... Um, you're always going to feel good no matter who's with you because you're up there. And no matter how high you are, the only way is up. So you just keep going up, from up, from up, from up. And I was just like, wow. You know, I never thought about it like that. It's like, I'll, I kind of... No, I'm, I really didn't think about it because once people get up there, they tend to settle. They they tend to get comfortable. But when you're up there, you have there's always a up from up. So then he was like, well, um, a lot of people. He was like, a lot of people. Well, when you're down. You don't learn as much as when you're up there. And I kind of disagree when he said that. He's like, when you're down, but then he was like, he also said, when you're down, um, he also said, when you're, when you're down, basically it doesn't match the same energy as when you're up. I can't kind of remember that part of what he said because I, I just disagree because it's just like, I'm like, well, when you're down, it seems like, well, he said it, you don't learn a lot. You don't learn as much as when you're when you're up than when you're down. And I'm like, well, I feel like it's different because when you're not up, it's like all you have to take in is experience and knowledge mm -hmm. and to keep learning from those experiences and those, you know, just keep learning. So when you finally get up there, you know better. I don't know. He he just had somewhat kind of a point um, and somewhat. We basically had two different, you know, perspectives of what it feels like being down. You know, he's an older, older man, so, of course, he has more experience than me. But we just see it in a different light, I guess. And then I also, we also spoke on, you know, reflection. Or, I mean, how um, we spoke a lot on changes. And I'm just like, well, he's like, because he was like, um, you you don't see the change. But I see the change. And I'm just like, my view is that, you know, just imagine yourself walking, like you're walking, but on the other side, it's like, it's the world on this side, you're walking beside the world, and as it's changing, you can't see it, it's like everything is just, you know, the same, you're walking and everything, and you look over, and all you see is nothing but the same, you know, and then we spoke on people, mm -hmm. And I'm just like, a lot of people, he was like, because he was like, um, I was like, it's a lot of people that just, you know, you may see some type of difference in that person, or this person is different from, you know, anybody you've ever met, but the way they move, he was like, it looks familiar. And I mean, I'm like, yeah, that. but no matter how different you are, if you move the same way as everybody else, 
you're starting to look familiar. So we spoke on that, but we had a interesting conversation. I can say that. It was just very, very interesting. But what he didn't agree with was that there's nothing you're taking with you from the bottom to the top. And I, I disagreed. That's when I disagreed. I feel like you're taking your knowledge with you. You're taking your experience with you because no matter the situation, no matter how far up you are, you're all you always have to be you always have to protect yourself from those type of people because just like you said, you can a person can pull you down. People can hold you down from going up and that was my question for him. I didn't get to actually ask. And I'm like, Wow, you know, why? You know, why would someone or why would something hold you down so hard? You know, why is it anybody else's business or any, you know, any, why is it any business of anyone else's if I'm going up? You know, if I'm not liked or I'm not wanted and stuff like that, why would, you know, this force, whatever this force is, hold me down so hard? You know, and that's the question I had when he asked that because I I never really looked at it like that. He was like, you can be, you know, climbing to the top, but then you got this. You're you're you got basically. It's like your mind is being pulled down from so many different angles, so many different directions, and I'm just like, wow, you know. But my question is why? Why do I always feel like I always have to be pulled down? You know, if I'm climbing to the top, why would I why would I be, you know, why am I being pulled down? Why am I being why can't I continue to go up? You know, what's so bad up there? And that's just a question I I would just be pondering because that's a that's a that's a um question that he just playing in my head and I just I just haven't seemed to grasp the answer because I always wonder that. You know, every time you're at a certain point when you're at a breakthrough, it's all of these, you know, attachments stringing you, you know, holding you like a rope against your will, pulling you back down. Why? What's so important here? You know, because I don't see it. I don't see what's important. For me to even be here And then he also said He was like a lot of um, A lot of people He said a lot of people um, Well he said as you're going up And you're going up Eventually you'll meet those people Eventually down the line You'll meet your group You'll meet those people That are meant to be for you you know your group setting your your where you're, you're you're supposed to be those type of people that you just vibe with you're supposed to meet and I'm just like what if you don't though what if you make it all the way to the top and you're still you know you still don't have that those you ha- still haven't met your your clan you know your group you still haven't met your posse you know your those people that just vibe with you. You haven't met your people. Basically, he said, you'll meet your people. I'm like, what if you make it all the way there and you still don't meet your people? And he was like, well, oh, you'll meet them. Believe it or not, you'll meet them. Because there's a lot of different people out there. You know, those people aren't the same as these people. And I'm just like, you know, maybe you have a point, but at the same time, it's just kind of hard to believe. Because I was at a point in my life where I wasn't really close to the bottom, and I really wasn't close to the top, and I still haven't met those people. It's like the more you go up, the more lonelier it becomes, and then, you know, it's just like, do you... He was just giving off the impression that you don't need people. You know, once you're up there, you're up there, you're good, you know. Nothing else matters because you have all that you have, all that you need. 
but it was a good conversation. It was a lot of questions, you know, not really too many answers, but it was something to think about, you know, a lot to think about. Not really a lot to think about, but something to think about. But I still have that one, you know, that one question that bothered me the most. Why are we or am I held down being grounded when you're so close to breakthrough, when you're so close to being where you want to be or what's actually, you know, when you're so, when you're high, you're kind of off the ground, you know, you're a little bit off the ground. Why is it always those um, people or why is there a resistance? Why is there a force pulling you back down? What is that force? That's the question. What is that force that is pulling us back down or in my situation, you know, me, what's that force that's holding me down? Because it just seems like it's a powerful force. You know, this powerful force isn't just, you know, if you'll know if it wasn't powerful because, you know, it would be, it wouldn't be easy, but it would be, you know, um, there would be no no hurdles, no, like, if you got over this, it should be easy going forward, but it's not easy, it just seems to keep getting more difficult and more difficult and more difficult, you know, what's my significance, what's my value that's not the same, that's not um, what I wouldn't want for myself, you know, I don't know, something like that. <sighs> Didn't get my point across, but, you know, it was a moment I had, and it was kind of, you know, something to think about. I don't know. <laughs>